Right, Leo, hello. Basically, I want to get through this as quick as I can, although it will take longer than most of my videos I ever do. But um, I'm going to go to bed, basically, um, because it's roughly 4 o'clock as I'm almost doing this, and bedtime is upon me, so we'll be proceeding to go to bed usually after I've done this video. But anyway, I want to talk about basically, um, I've been in the news lately about social networking sites, particularly Facebook, somebody being killed on Facebook and all this and that. And, you know, I want to talk about the social networking sites because I think that Facebook is one of the, or should well be, one of the most private social networking sites out there. Now, you might think, how do you work that one out? Well, it's quite simple, really, because it's all about private. Unlike going to somewhere like, my, you know, let's just say, you, if you go to somewhere like YouTube or MySpace or um, possible Bebo, although Bebo is getting a little bit out of Facebook in some parts, and other sort of social networking sites, the majority of it is you sign up, you make all your profile, you have all your information into it, and then basically, bingo. Right, you're now able for the whole world to see. So people who go searching through will search through them and be able to find you. They'll be search well, they'll do that. They'll be they'll be they'll be browsing and they'll come across your website and they'll be able to look at it, see what all the information you put on there, and basically message you and whatever else. Add you as a friend if they wanted to, and do whatever is basically um, out there. Right now, I don't mind. If you want to do that and get to know me, become a friend, I don't mind that. Um, it's the fact that sometimes there might well be people who create um, things on here that are basically not really who they say they are. They they, they create, um, you know, they might want to create a fake profile or something like that. I don't know that, but obviously, I mean, you can make things private on on these websites, I don't see why people should anyway, but um, it's more or less, I prefer it to be one of those things, you know, where you're able to basically, um, you, you sign up and you have all, you have all you see. So, yeah, right, and, you know, you can look for it. I, I, I would normally browse through profiles, but I only ever browse through them. I'm not saying, you know, and usually with things like YouTube, it's just the fact that it's a YouTube channel, so I get to uh, watch some of the videos that people upload. I think it's interesting, so I sometimes subscribe and I'll message them to say that they've done a nice video and so on. Something quite simple, nothing too dramatic. But the fact is, I like Facebook quite a bit because I like to keep it private. It's one of those things that, that should always be notified by that the news and things like that always give the wrong impression about certain social networking sites. And the fact is that I find Facebook to be private, you know, because it's one of them things that for a first time user, if you were going onto Facebook for the first time, which I know I'm not, but if I was, then I would I would be like, it could be private. You do not allow everybody to see what you basically do on that thing. And that's so good about it because what happens is you, you make your profile and the first the first thing is once you've made that profile it becomes only visible, only visible to people who basically, or it doesn't actually really become visible because the fact is that your page is pretty, pretty basic. So the likelihood is, if you put everything to be invisible to pretty much, you know, everything, and only the, and only people on your friends list can see it, then that's practically it. So the only thing is, people can search for you if they find you if they're able to find you, if you have that facility of looking for you. So you're a part of a network like Peterborough or wherever, and basically that's where somebody might find you. So people will go into Facebook and say, I'm looking for um, somebody, and I'll type the email or the, the name of the person in, and once they find you, they can practically click on you, and they might see the little box for the picture or something, you know. Um, but when they, when they come to it, they'll think, damn, I can't see lots of information. It's all private because the information is practically void. They don't get to see, they probably get to see the only basic information like he's male and he's English or something like that, but nothing else. It'll be, if you would look, it's more or less, if you want to see the information that he has put, like, 
like, if I want to write on his wall or look at his pictures or basically any other thing, it's a case of you have to have, you have to add him as a friend. Well, then we're friends. And that's why I like about Facebook. It's always that private thing that I prefer to do that. And usually that's why I, I don't like adding anybody on Facebook and I just normally keep it as friends, family, things like that. There might well be people when I listen to the radio and the DJ might say, you can add me on Facebook. And I do that. Because there's not a problem with that one. I mean, the most interaction there is that the DJ is putting things like, if you'd like to comment on my Facebook, and it gets read out on the air. Simple. Friends and family I normally, I'm normally looking for on Facebook, you know. And that's what I do, so I add them. So that the only people who can really see my Facebook is practically people who are connected to my Facebook. I don't, I don't let any old waltz away Billy Willie look at that. You know, you can have various things on Facebook to 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 to, to explain that. I mean, you can have writing on the wall of Facebook and things like that can be private. But you can have on Facebook where others can see your photos. Like I can go onto my cousin's Facebook page and view her photographs that she's put up. I can't comment on on them, but I can view them. In the same way that I can probably view a little bit of information, but I can't write on the wall. Now that is being a little bit more than private. That's a little bit more. That's a step further. If I have, if I have them as a friend, then it becomes visible the whole of it. But I don't do that because I don't want people to know that. I don't really. Although I do have. Although I am non-private when it comes to MySpace and YouTube and that. That's different. But for Facebook, I'm keeping it private, so the only people who I really add on Facebook are people that I know, friends, family, and things like that. And usually, if people I don't know want to add me as um, Facebook, I normally deny the request, and I don't tell them. There's no need to. I mean, I mean, the, the fact is, it's like I have a friend, and... She might go on Facebook, and we we add each other, and it might be a couple of weeks or whatever later on in in time. Um, it's a case of she knows somebody who wants to add me as a friend on Facebook, and I will just decline it because I don't know that person, I don't wish to know that person, and therefore, you know, I just don't want people to to to, to be adding me on Facebook like that, and. Messaging me is no good because you won't get anywhere. I don't normally read my messages that I get on Facebook on a letter from somebody I know. People who don't know me and send me a message and say, Oh, why don't you have a friend on Facebook or whatever? It's not even going to happen. You won't even get there and I'll just decline the request. I'll just... And I don't really want to be the one to actually message back and say, Look, will you piss off because I don't want you to be my friend on Facebook? It's as simple as that. I just like to, I just like to keep my Facebook as private as I can keep it and and that and uh, you know and everything that I write on Facebook only my friends can see it and um, in hope you know and it's nice to get funny comments by them but it's not very good when people do comment um, I know I, ma I make pizzas and things like that and somebody will say it's gross and 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 and, and, and Think that if you don't like something, don't bloody comment on it. It's as simple as that, and that's what I expect from friends on Facebook. What's the point of commenting something just to take your, you know, because it's stupid. I don't care what people think about me making pizza, but why do people have to comment on my Facebook to say to say things bad about it? It's pathetic. What is the old point of that? If you don't like something, you don't comment on it. It's simple as that, don't you? Because it's what it's what it's what always happens. I don't like the show Friends. I don't even like the show Big Brother. But pretty much most of the time, it's likely that people might go and say, "Oh, just been watching uh, the just been watching Big Brother." But I won't I won't usually comment because I don't like it, and that's what it is. I just don't think that people should say that it's always the case of 
close up Facebook or it being bad. Because like I said, it's a private place and it could it could be private for anybody who just wants to go onto Facebook and say, look, what you know, it's bad enough if people are going on Facebook and making fake profiles just so they can add people and you know, but it's, it's not right. The fact is, if people went on Facebook and only added people they know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a problem if they made it private. If it all if it was all made private, they wouldn't have a problem. That's what I feel. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. So bye for now.